Hello everybody, I'm Dave from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich and to a new video where today we're going to be playing as the Greater German Reich and we're going to be getting Albert Speer to peacefully become the new Führer of the nation and replace Mr. H. So at the start of the game, um, Speer starts with weak influence but he's trusted by the Führer, so that's a good step. Um, I guess we just kind of need to knock down Goring. Um, the other three are kind of just neutral. I have mediocre influence. We just need to increase Spears' influence and get rid of Goring, so we should be good. Actually, we don't even need to get rid of Goring, so we just need to improve Spears. Well, this is the first event that's actually worth paying attention to, so basically Spears had a meeting with the Fuhrer, and we want to choose, indeed, Spear. The economy is in shambles. So Spears' influence will grow. Still weak, but it's growing. What a shame. We're going to be witnessing the downfall of the Confederational Kingdom of the Netherlands and in Indonesia. Because Indonesia is definitely going to win, I can tell you that right now. This will become the Dutch's new home for the foreseeable future. And for the rest of the game, because we're not going to lose the Netherlands. Here's the next event that actually matters. We need to go for the Ide idealistic idealistic plan. Oh my days, dude. Um, yeah, basically, we're just going to improve Spear's influence. So I think the choice here for the Soviet border question, I think we're going to go for the Wehrmacht. Just because I don't want to choose any of the other ones because it improves other people's influence. So we'll go for the Wehrmacht. Let's see how they get on. Oh wow, okay, I'm quite shocked by that, but the Wehrmacht soldiers were able to win several border skirmishes against the Soviets. Uh, the Fuhrer's health is starting to deteriorate quite badly now, so it's only downhill from here, I'm afraid, for him. Well, the elections didn't go well then for the British, since there's no clear winner. Way everybody loves Fanta. It's definitely better than Coca-Cola, 100%. But yes, the official soft drink of Germany. What a sponsorship deal that is for Fanta. Well, that's great, um... Korea has fallen to Marxist-Leninist ideology. So they're communists. Brilliant. Oh wait, nope, that, that didn't last long. The military is back in The military is taking control from the uh, the communists. Oh, great. Um, we Dietmar has died um, and we blew up a rocket. It did not get to space. Oh, he's getting worse. He's not fine. He's getting even worse. Well, it's also time for the Sino-Vietnamese War, which the US have criticised already. Oh well, the Greeks are in a civil war between the Hellenic state and the Kingdom of Greece, which is actually a democracy. Errol Warren has been elected as the new President of the United States of America. The war's going okay for China right now, they've killed 38,000 and they've lost a combined total of 10k, so you know, not bad at all for, for the start of it. Oh no, we're getting near that moment when it's time for the Fuhrer. To pass. Zygarev has won in the Russian Republic. Will he be able to lead them to victory against the Soviets? Probably not. It is now time to announce who the Mr. H is uh, announcing as his successor. And we are obviously going to appoint Spear. And let's do matters of the announcement. We shall announce to the world. Of course, we get hit by a lovely, lovely loss of stability. Ah, the Turkestani civil war has started. And oh boy, is it some civil war. Wow, dude, the Vienna project was actually well and truly worth it. Three civvies and three military factories and three infrastructure. Absolutely fantastic. So Errol Warren has been sworn in as the new president of the United States of America. And the Dutch find their new home in Suriname. Ah, and there's confirmation. The Indonesian victory in the East Indies. Yeah, we're almost there now. It's rapidly declining. No, the Fuhrer is dead. Today, the most powerful man in the world, and the man who defined the last 30 years of history, the Fuhrer, Mr. H, has perished. Ma nine! Oh my god! A great power struggle. But we don't need to worry about that. Oh wow, so Italy's refused to come, Sweden's refused to come, but at least Hitler's last notes have been found and the German Civil War has been avoided. And say goodbye to the Senate, a dubious figure. And there is our cabinet as well. I'm not even going to try and uh, pronounce Alfred's name there, but hello to Spear. Oh, yes, my favourite moment. When the uh, Rijkskommissarats just explode into infighting. Yes, goodbye to the Caucasus. Goodbye, Arno. And the Green Crisis in Ukraine. And there's the Mountain Republic rising up. Oh, it's all going to chaos now. I don't think that's going to end well for Bosnia. Well, who knows, actually? Who knows? Actually, they're off to a good start. Well, that's a nice national spirit we get from that. The Leadership Coalition. Political power gain up by 25%. And weekly stability increases by one weekly. 
for 180 days. We have a dilemma, dilemma here. Party Chancellor Goebbels will block any attempts at drastic reforms. And I do want to do some drastic reforms. I want to do Spears Way. I want to do that. Um, I'm going to sideline him. Yeah, he's a threat to us. He needs he needs to be put in the bin. Okay, I wonder what's going on in Bulgaria then if Lukov's just been killed off. Hi, yes, I completely forgot on this mod that all the leaders kind of have their own little thing and support for Spear is not doing great. And Queen Elizabeth II has been uh, coronated. Oh, I was right to assume that Bosnia wasn't going to win. Holy moly, Chinese triumph in Vietnam. Wow. Okay, we have created the National Club, which improves Spears' influence and also gives us some political power. Remembering the Fuhrer? Hmm, his teachings shall live on, shall they? Finish what he started? It is a new generation. It is a new generation. Okay, Vargas took his own life. Well, I think it's pretty much safe to say that Syria is dead unless they somehow managed to beat Turkey. Yep, they're not going to do that. They're dead. Oh, well, they're definitely dead now. What? You've, you, they're completely surrounded. They're completely surrounded. Well done. Okay, what the hell is happening here? National Legionary State. What? Wait, wait. Did Horthy win? No way. Horthy has a son who's now in power? Istvan Horthy, popular figurehead. A mechanical engineer. Okay, I've never seen him pop up before on this mod at all. Horthy usually sucks and loses to Romania every single time. Oh, Monarchist victory. Michael has won. And there goes Syria. The Treaty of Honolulu. Okay, the state of Japan's here. They're no longer occupied by the Americans. They're now doing nation building. Well, we've dealt with a great power struggle. That's gone. So let's go ahead and resume the reforms. Okay, a few things to go over. Angola has risen up against the Portuguese Republic. Um, but also, Novosibirsk decided to declare war on the Soviet Union. And they've allied with Transvolga and Idle Ural. It's not going to end well for them. Why, why would they be so stupid? I know we're currently trying to reform, but um, yeah, we're going to just research lethal chemicals. Well, the Italians have made their intentions known. They've finally broken the Pact of Steel. It's time to do Spear's way. Albert Spear has a plan. A great plan. Okay, this is a bit awkward. Um, spy plane is flying over us. Yeah, shoot it down. Try and shoot it down. Please shoot it down. We get construction speed plus 30% from that. That's pretty, pretty decent. We've got this finishing as well. The Codex is born. Plus 50 political power. Cool. Oh my days, we just created a CIA. Centralized Intelligence Agency. Spear announces reforms. Ah, Francois Darlin has been elected, which is interesting. Ah, the Kingdom of Montenegro has been refounded. Hmm. Maria the First. Still part of the Italian sphere of influence, but at least they have a little bit more autonomy. Okay, reform the NSDAP. Divide and conquer, consolidate the branches. Consolidate the branches. That's great news for the whole entire world. The polio vaccine has been declared safe. Hallelujah. Finally, the Russian Republic's have woken up from their slumber. They're going to have a cheetah. Yeah, they should defeat relatively easily. The Soviets might have just been thrown a lifeline here. Krasnyarsk has just invaded Novosibirsk. But I still don't think they're doing very well. 9 to 23 divisions. I think they're done. I think they're done for. I was wondering when uh, Subhas Chandra Bose was going to uh, start his reclamation of the other you know, parts of India that are currently free from his control right now. Oh, well, this is the beginning of the Chinese-USA uh, Cold War. There it is. The American and Chinese uh, relations have been, well, it looks like badly damaged for the foreseeable future. And now they're in a Cold War. Germany declares free trade. A new era for trade. Hopefully I'm going to eventually improve relations with Americans. That would be very cool. Okay, stuff the Americans. Let's go ahead and do a diplomatic offer to Japan. Eh, not Japan, to China. Alright, they've refused their gestures then. They are still holding a grudge for our previous cooperation with Japan. Oh well. Oh, finally we've done spear economics, which means I can actually go ahead and do it back into the fold. Let's get the Reich's Commissarats back. No, no, no way. No freaking way. And it's hideous. What the fuck have you done? Oh, right, right. I'm going to work on my magic here. 
I think that's a much better outcome. That looks so much better. But I can't believe it. The Soviets are dead. Oh well, no big showdown with them. Once and for all killing them. Oh wow, the UK has recognised the Delhi government. Wow, that civil war has been on four years. Kingdom of Greece won. And it looks like... Who's invading Manat? Okay. That's a silly, silly idea. Oh, finally, it's time for our first war. Should be relatively easy enough. Wow, I don't actually think we lost a single casualty in that war, but welcome back, Ukraine. Let's go in and... Oh, we can demand our rightful lands. Let's do that. And restore Ukraine. Oh, and the Caucasus, uh, the Caucasus has surrendered. What? And now we have to invade them for the rest of it. Okay, cool. Let's go after the free, free Russian movement. Let's go after them. Defining Germany. On the surface, this might appear trivial, but on an administ administration level, the definition of Germany is an important bureaucratic matter. Germany is vaguely divided by metropolitan and colonial regions after these these differences were never officially adapted. While Albert Speer might be able to put these existing definitions in the government record, his reformist identity might enable him to enact some drastic changes to the border issue, kind of bureaucratic confusion, and its related costs. By defining the current Reichskommissarat regions of the Metropolitan Germany, they Germany the legal claim over the Reichskommissarat despite their self governing nature. <gasps> All shall be Germany. Time for war again. Ah, perfect. Moscow wins back ours. Harimam has been elected as president. Alright, goodbye, Warren. No freaking way. For years, two separate regimes claimed the ownership of France, with both these governments claiming to be the legitimate one. They've reunified. Darlin has unified the French. Ah, perfect. SS Obenstadt Gutenland has submitted to us. Mike's Commissrat Gutenland instead for the Colonial Council. The Chinese have announced their ambitions. They don't do much in this mod after Chang Wen, so they'll be interested to see what they do. Right, it's time to finish off the Caucasian Socialist Federative Soci Soviet Republic, my days, what a tongue twister that is. Wow, easy peasy, really. Yes, transfer those. Thank you for having those decisions there. Hoofed. I'll take all that, thank you very much. Okay. Yugoslavia actually won. They pieced out, they just got their land and that was it. Albert Speer through Incorporated. Albert Th Speer thought shall lead us. So now everybody likes him. Wait, I must have missed the, f the event that made Croatia get annexed by Yugoslavia. Wow, we might actually have a Yugoslavian-Italian war, which obviously the Italians are going to win. Our next commissariat, Ust Europa. It's one big boy by Alfred Rosenberg. I take it has cores on it all, because that is insane. But also beautiful. Why do we have a decision here that's devolving Ust Europa? I'm not going to do that, I'll leave that until the end. Wow, that war started and ended very, very quickly. Uh, Bob Smith, why the hell is it Nicolas Cage? Wow, for our first time in a while, we're finally starting to build factories again. I'm sorry, the what? The Istrian Slovenian Coalition? Well, that's 
gonna die very quickly. Oh wow, that's even better with the economy fully recovered. We now have 15 factories building. It's a miracle. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. That was pointless. Okay, I had to. I couldn't I couldn't resist doing it. An order from Germania. The monster needs to go. Solve between local groups. Well, Alfred is technically the leader of Eastern Europe. He is virtually powerless for a month of decentralizing it. Okay. Cool. I, I don't know what really was the point in that. And yes, it's time for us to knock Warsaw down and build a new city instead. Wow, what a really interesting war that China's fighting. Laos. Great. Totally gonna struggle against them. I'm sorry, didn't Croatia have control of you? What? When the hell were the United States at war with the autonomous indigenous republics? Ah, since the United Mexican States joined the <laughs> Toronto Accord. And China's going after Tibet now. Another really hard war for them. Okay, not who I thought was going to invade Albania this playthrough. Um, I thought it was going to be Yugoslavia. So, Spear's known as being a, an architect. So, we've now got three... Um, well, projects to do, and it's the first wave of them. So, Germania expansion complete, so we'll expand in them. Wow, level 10 land fort anti-air. Three civvies. Not bad, let's start that. Spear announces Germania expansion. Perfect. Into a global city. Let's do the Duce station. And the Führer Museum. Until the passing of Führer, his concept of the Führer Museum was never truly realised. It's art. Plus 15 stability and war support. And ah, glorious. Perfect. Okay. We'll see what's in store for Project Grand. Again, wholesomeness is coming out. Wholesome. Wholesome stuff here. Ah, their Germania expansion has been completed. Perfect. It's now time for the next wave of projects. So we've got Project Nordstern. Project Hamburg. Spear announces Verstandstadt plan. Okay. And Spear Project Munich. The renovation of Munich. Wow, he's, he's going all out here. Oh no, Mussolini's dead. Umberto has taken control of the nation for the time being as they finish off their invasion of Albania, the autonomous state of Kosovo. The Nordstern project has been completed, supported by the Kriegsmarine and by Mr. H himself. German Singapore. Alright, that's a nice wee bonus actually. Talo Balbo has replaced Mussolini. Copenhagen to Tyrol Highway has been completed. So it um, actually turns out that we have completed all the projects now. We've basically finished the tree. Um, there's nothing here unique. It's just a couple of kind of like bonuses, political power gains. Obviously we could deal with the oversight Craig's Marine, but I don't need that because we're not going to go to war with anyone else. We've also got nation-like businesses, which gives us a nice wee plus five max factories in any state. Um, but I think that is us done. So Spear has led Germany into a somewhat new era. He has reformed some of the things. Um, let's actually have a look what he's reformed. He's got the German Singapore. Slave labour is something he's a fan of. Uh, Spears reforms. He's unified regional commands. He's reformed the recruitment system. He created the Central Research Department. Got a reformed officer corps. Formalised doctrine, the CIA. Moderate leader, mutual political assistance. So he's done pretty good. And the economy is now booming. We're building factories like there's no tomorrow. And Germania has been expanded. So I think that is a good place to leave it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I shall be back with something different next time. Until then, take care. Cheer bye. Then out.